do you consider yourself the biggest bust in NFL draft history? My, they turn out how I would want it to, or not how they expected it to. You know, but if you're gonna call me a bust, like you say, put the biggest on that mouth. Come on. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> this is the coolest breakdown. Now, if you're into content like this, I would appreciate it if you hit the subscribe and like button for me. Now, let's start with the rise of Jamarcus Russell. Jamarcus Russell started and never missed a single football game in all of his four years of high school. His best season was his senior year where he completed 219 of 372 passes for 3,332 yards and 22 touchdowns. And he rushed for 400 yards to go along with five rushing touchdowns. Now, these numbers earned Russell a Parade Magazine All-American Honorable Mention Honors. To add, his 10,774 career passing yards is the all-time Alabama high school athletic record, and it still stands today. In February 2003, on National Signing Day, Russell committed to LSU. Now, he redshirted his freshman year, and by the fall of the 2005 season, Russell was the starting quarterback. He led the Tigers to a 10-1 regular season record, the SEC Western Division title, and a top five ranking going into the SEC championship game. He also improved statistically, completing 60% of his passes for 2,443 yards and 15 touchdowns. For these accomplishments, Russell received an honorable mention on the AP's All-SEC team. And at this time, the SEC was a complete powerhouse with stacked talent. And later on in the season, LSU defeated a then undefeated Alabama team 16-13 when he completed a 14-yard touchdown to Dwayne Bow in overtime. Russell's junior season in the All-State Sugar Bowl, he accumulated over 350 yards of passing and rushing, combined and scored three touchdowns, leading LSU to a 41-14 win over Notre Dame. For his performance, he was named Sugar Bowl MVP. Now for his college accolades, he was awarded the Columbus Touchdown Club SEC Player of the Year in 2005, a four-time SEC Offensive Player of the Week, one in 2005 and three in 2006. First team all SEC by the Associated Press and by the SEC coaches in 2006. He was awarded the Manning Award in 06 and was a Davy O'Brien Award semifinalist in 2006. <laughs> Finally, on January 10th, 2007, Russell stated that he had decided to skip his final season of eligibility to enter the 2007 NFL Draft. Now for the fall. To answer the question, why couldn't Jamarcus Russell make a successful transition to NFL football? <laughs> well, 
there are three answers to this question. Number one, he carried a not so great work ethic and he didn't watch film and also a lack of commitment to improving his football skills. Second, he struggled with his conditioning. His size would fluctuate throughout his NFL career, which made it difficult for him to be mobile and agile. Third, he struggled with reading defenses and making quick decisions, which is very important for a quarterback, especially in the NFL. After some research, it appears that he just got in his own way. After three seasons, in 2010, the Raiders released Russell. So in 2013, Russell made an attempt to come back into the league, and he also had written letters to all 32 NFL teams asking for a tryout and pledging to play one year for free to prove himself again. However, no team responded to the letters. Currently, Jamarcus Russell is the quarterback's coach for his old high school in Alabama, Williamson High. So it's always good to end on a more positive note. Jamarcus Russell will always be one of the biggest what ifs in sports history. This is the coolest breakdown. Now, if you like content like this, go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, and share. <laughs> I'm out. Peace.